Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can quickly get rid of many different errors on your Epsom EcoTank ET2850. The same thing will apply to other models as well. Now obviously if there's an underlying problem then this isn't going to fix it. But if the printer's just thrown a wobbly, then this might fix it, or at least it might get you printing again, and you can have more time to then fix the underlying problem. So right now we've got this system error here. I am just going to turn it off. And when it's fully turned off, we're going to unplug the power from it. So either unplug it from the wall, or in this instance, I'm just going to pull the cable straight out the back. So the cable is now unplugged. Now I'm going to hold the power button down for 30 seconds and this is going to completely drain any energy that's left on the capacitors on the inside. So I'm just going to fast forward through 30 seconds. Right, so I've held it down for at least 30 seconds. I'm going to let go and you need to now plug it back in or in my instance I'm just going to plug it straight back into the back. And now hopefully when we turn it on the problem will have now gone. I have to do this quite often because this printer has a problem with the, let me turn that on again, there we go, uh, this printer has a problem with the Wi-Fi chip and it will only let me print a few pages before it sees this up, so I often have to do this just to get rid of that error code. Right, so you can see now Wi-Fi is connected and this printer is ready to go again and we have a solid blue light here, it's not flashing or indicating any problem. So this will keep working until the Wi-Fi sees us up again or until there's another system error. But this is the workaround I do so I can get more use out of this printer before I have to either repair it or get a new one. If you've got something that you do that always gets your printer working again, put it down in the comment section below because you may help other people out. Thanks for watching.